Hey, what's up? It's like Nick here. And it's been a while since I did a video. So um, today I'm gonna introduce you to this vehicle I am renting. It's a Tesla Model 3. Yeah, I'm driving a Tesla Model 3 because my Lexus has got some body damage. Not a huge amount, but it's just a very annoying amount because somebody hit my car a while back and it was a hit and run. So I'm gonna be getting it repaired. So it's gonna take a couple weeks. So I'm trying out the Hertz program. And of course, I've heard a lot of bait and switch and a lot of negative things, but um, so far I got the car up and running. And as, I, um, as I'm doing this um, driving with Uber with the Hertz Tesla, I'll share my experience and what it was like. And, also the, some of the do's and don'ts. Right now I'm over at the um, Tesla supercharging station. I'm charging up the car because I do have an adapter that's provided with the vehicle where I can plug it into a third party um, charger. And I tried it over at the, um, the Porter Ranch in Los Angeles and it was not working. Like one of them, the car was claiming that it could not detect and says to please reinsert it, which is ridiculous. It's fully inserted. And other Teslas were having no problem. And there was a couple chargers by Whole Foods that were not even working or functioning at all. And there was another one that also had one of the prongs had was damaged. Well, the shelling was damaged, so I couldn't get that into the adapter. So this is the car charging. Um, you can do a full charge, which could take a little longer, but um, right now I'm just trying to get it to where I really need to be. And, at least to get started tomorrow and depending how things are going. And the little triangle there, that's where you adjust how far you want to charge it up to and then it's how much it's costing. And I'm guessing Hertz is probably gonna include that into my weekly rental rate. But I could tell you this, this amount is nothing like paying for gas. This is a lot cheaper than gas. And of course you got all the controls here and got my full amount. I put the tape here because this thing here, the the thing that releases it to open up failed. So if I try to close it, it just reopens back up. So it's just so it prevents my phone from getting out. I couldn't find a great enough mount for my for the Tesla. So this is the one for the cup holder, but at least it were it does something. And down below here, these are um, wireless charging. I can put my phone down there and charge it. But the thing is, when driving an Uber, I can't really use it much because I have to keep looking down it takes my eyes off the road that's not good and there's Bluetooth on this car too but I can't get it to connect to my phone for some odd reason even though I have Bluetooth on my phone and everything and there's no Apple CarPlay unfortunately at least I don't see it but as long as this car does the job helps me get money gets me from point A to point B that's all that really matters Tesla horn. The volume is also controlled here too. And whenever you choose something on the control panel, you also can adjust it with the same controls too. And the wiper, windshield wipers, the headlights. Well, the headlights you can set to auto on or, or whatever it's on the controls. And also the gear shift. And it's also you activate the cruise control too. But I'll share that in a separate video. It's almost getting there. I might go for extra, but we'll see. And so far today, I've done like two trips already. They were Uber X trips because in the San Fernando Valley, you know, of course, comfort is not as quick, but when you get the upfront fare, the dollar incentive for dr driving an electric vehicle is already included in the upfront fare. And when you look at the fare and on the promotions, you'll see it on there. And there's also, Comfort Electric is another option, which is cool. And also, if you're one of those drivers that started in the earlier days, like I started January 2017. So if you started around that time or before that, if you drive in a vehicle that is eligible for Uber Select, you can still drive Uber Select on it. And so I, since I can do Select on my Lexus, it turns out Tesla Model 3 qualifies for Select, which is nice too. So I got a little more options here with the Comfort Electric. All the good stuff. Already got my airport placard, so I'm basically ready for business. And this vehicle also has plenty of trunk space too, which is really cool. I haven't looked at the front trunk yet. The frunk is what they call it. 
but I'll check that out too. And I'll do other videos as I'm going along with this Tesla. Anyways, drive safe, use common sense, be safe.